Real quick, I'm sorry to do this to you, bud, but I need... I need your skin and your bones. No! No, no, no! No! Oh, that's a big f***ing problem! That's a really big problem! Hey guys, editing Josh here again. The issues I had with the last episode kind of carried over into this one as well. I did what I could, but there are still some frame rate issues here and there. Hopefully it's not too bad and you guys still enjoy the video. G'day guys, my name's Josh. You can call me Zaboodle and welcome back to the most gorgeous survival game that I can think of. Welcome back to Icarus, where I am back on the first beta weekend, having a wonderful time standing on the banks of my billabong, my little shack over here that looks weirdly like an ATST, but that's completely separate. Just admiring all that's going on. We've got deers over there frolicking around. There's a little baby deer following its mum around. And this time, I promise, I'll have nothing to do with it. I'm staying well away from that. If I could go through today and not be complicit, not be a part of some sort of massacre, I'm going to consider that a success. But I am back to continue on because I just had such a good time in the first episode I filmed for this. I wanted to continue. I wanted to see how much further we could go. So I'm going to try and push to get through the rest of this goodness. I want to know if I get up to like level 5, which isn't too far away now. Um, if I can like upgrade my little house to be wood and better and well still flammable which is a bit of a problem but see if I can upgrade my life just that little bit I don't know I, I, I actually have that much of a plan other than just keep exploring this game and seeing what it's about because so far it's been a rip snorting good time dearie girl is upset about something to the point where she's abandoned her baby oh oh I see why I see why. <gasps> run, baby, run. You won't be left without a mother today. Oh, go long. Back yourself in. Oh, a little bit long. That's all right. There's wolves about out here. And I'm going to try and protect the wildlife from the monsters. If I kill enough wolves and protect them that way, does that mean that I'll be forgiven for my previous sins? I doubt it, but I want to try. Look at the doggy paddle he does. You can't make the wolves cute. You can't do that. I'm supposed to be like fighting it for my life out here from the fanged menace. And you're making it paddle along like an adorable little papa. How am I supposed to feel good about myself with that? Oh, I made you a unicorn though. <laughs> that was like about as a clean a headshot as you could ask for. Well, you know what? Listen, I have to eat something out here. And if I'm banned from deer, you're the only option I have left. All right, so my biggest problem now is that I'm running a little bit low on oxygen. My food and water is all A-OK. -okay. Uh, inventory, you go to there. Just like put a couple of more ounces of gas into me lungs and stave me off from death for a little bit longer. But I need to go and see what I can come across. And to find some more blue rocks of life and put them into my mouth, swallow them around like they're a goddamn gobstopper and get some, uh, get some more longevity that way. I also need some more arrows as well, but I did notice... Ooh, your corn. Okie dokie, I'll just harvest all of this. A couple of cheeky bits of maize. I'll rack them off the cob like you wouldn't believe. But I did notice in my uh, tech tree, I can make a bone spear, a bone knife, and also, it was there we go, bone arrows as well. So I don't want to make any more stone arrows for the moment. I want to try and save up and use the bones for something. I need a level five for that, which isn't too far away. It's going to keep on pushing. Look how much corn is here though, Jesus. I'm now pretty chock-a-block with corn actually. So I might head home, make myself a box and just store it all back there where I can. Like I've already ever, I, I've barely explored this place at all. Good day, Code Hanger, how you doing? Don't mind me. I've barely explored further than basically where I landed. I haven't gone really anywhere. I should explore this world more. There's definitely more to be found and more to be seen. I just need to be brave enough to go find it. Just put the box there. That'll do fine. Just like drop you for a moment so I can see. It lights it up pretty well, actually. I don't mind it at all. All right, you can just have all of the corn. I can't shift click, which is kind of... <laughs> I mean, I'd love to be able to quick sort stuff. Just like quality of life, things like that. I'm starting to be some used to it in other games, but not really a problem. There we go. That box is now amazing. And I'm going to take my torch back and get back out. Oh, good day, bud. I might close my door because I feel like the neighbors can't be trusted. And head on back out. I am about to start starving to death. Gary the ghost still banging about. I'm running out of oxygen. Yes, okay. I know. I'll find some blue stuff in a second. God, it's like I'm searching for Heisenberg. I need some blue crystals to stay alive. I'm going to need to talk to someone about that. Oh, I saw the blue and I got excited. That's copper. Oh, there's some blue stuff on the ground that'll keep me alive for at least another couple of seconds. Just consume you the whole lot straight away. There you go. 
13% oxygen. We'll find some more. I'm not too worried. There's a blue... Oh, g'day, rackers. How you doing? There's a lot of fish in that, in that uh, thing as well. Oh, it is an island. It is an island. All right, I might have to eventually move up and past the frolicking deer and just move onto that island all for myself. Because what a time that would be. I could be the king of the castle after I built myself the castle. That'll do me nicely. Glistening in the sun is another big bundle of oxide. Give me the oxygen and put it straight into the little air sacs that populate my lungs. Give me all of that goodness. So now that I've got, oh, I'm kind of thirsty and kind of hungry. I'll stay near the water, but I want to go exploring. There's some more oxide over there. I'll grab some of that soon. There's actually some over there as well. I'll follow the bank around. And then oh, there was that waterfall over there. And I do like, I am quite fond of a good old fashioned waterfall. So I might go have a squeeze over there and see what is beholden of me. But I can't get far unless I can breathe. That's manic as fuck right now. I need to get some oxygen in me. So I was saying at the end of the last episode on this about, like I've mentioned a couple times recently about how like the algorithm for YouTube works. And I stand by that. Like if you're watching this, then leave comments and stuff like that to try and help me out a little bit. But I think with a game like this, where I'm enjoying it this much, this might be one of my guilty pleasure games where I'm not playing it for, for views. I'm not playing it for like YouTube stuff. Oh, let's level up. Let's level five. That's what I wanted it. I might just keep playing this because I'm just having such a time with it. I'm so excited to like stay with this game as we go through like the beta progress and kind of like, like remember Subnautica when that first came out and like there was the progressive updates that you kind of rode that roller coaster along. I want that again and I feel like this game might give it to me. If I could forget Subnautica and play that again, I would, but I think this is going to be the next best thing. It's getting me all tickly inside. All right, I've got more than enough oxide for the moment. I will consume two of these, actually. They'll get me back up to the full. Oxygen's pumping away. I can go down and just, like, stick my face in the river and motorboat it like it's stiffle as mum. Anything else around? No, we're all fine. All right, sick. Grab you. Glug, glug, glug. Rubber dub dub. Someone give me a rubber ducky so I can just bathe about in here for a little while. All right, cool bananas. Actually, before I head out then... I'm now level five and I've got those skill points. So do I go? Bone arrows is probably a good idea because leather bone sticks got all of those available to me already. Or do I spend all my points on construction? I do like a cheeky bit of construction if I don't say so myself. So, okay, I'll take the wood beam, wood floor, wood wall. Ooh, a wood floor trap door as well. Make a real nice go of it. In fact, no, I think I'll get some more levels up and when I come home with some more points into more things, then I can make cooler stuff. Well, I probably should have bought the stone arrows though, or the bone arrows, because I'm going to go into some pretty bad lands, I feel like. Oh, I'm going to explore. I'm going to explore an island first. That looks sick. Oh, look at the size of the fish here. Look how lovely it is underwater as well. What are you? What are you? Oh, you got red eyes. You're definitely mean. There are piranhas in the water. Can I not like penetrate the water with my bow then? He came swimming up out of nowhere to have a little nobjule on my gobjule. Nah, not doing it. Not doing it. I want to see what these other fishy fucks are doing without you having a cheeky nip. Where are you? Where are you, red eye? I'm going to slap you on the barbecue and spin you like a prawn. Where the heck did you... Is that you over there? You look finny. You look fucky. You look like someone wants to die. I completely whiffed it. Oh. Oh. Are you the two-time Buddha fish? No, you're just a dopey fish. Okay, where's the mean one gone? Ow! Found it. Found it. It took a chunk out of my butt, but that's okay. We figured it out in the end. It's just fish. It's just called a fish. All right, fair enough then. I didn't get my arrow back then either, did I? I got the fish, didn't get the arrows. Okay, I might need to make some more of those. Seeing as about to invade an island like it's Britain and I'm Caesar. Up. There we go. Look at the size of those fishies though. Can I just like grab you? No, grab the fish. Grab the fish. Come on, you're basically teabagging the bastard. Ow! There's more little piranhas. God damn, it's infested with them. They're like lice on a stripper. I've made myself more arrows so I can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the piranhas of doom. There you are. There you are. Ow, there's many of them. They're swarming. They're swarming. They're clever. They know. They know my weaknesses and I can't pay attention to multiple things at once. Oh, but now I can't. What the shit? Oh, that's a weird looking fish. <laughs> There is just so much happening all the time in this game. And I feel like I'm just never actually up to speed on things. Things are just whizzing by my head like arrows past a fish. And I just can't keep up. 
I'll grab you. Grab you for that. Can I have some sashimi, please? Press F to pick up. Grab you. Lost me arrow. That's fine. Look at the size of them, though. Look at the size. Who's ever gonna go hungry? Who needs to murder baby deer when instead, I just lie, I never murdered the baby deer. I'd like the record to show I never murdered the baby deer. I just killed it vicariously by removing its family. Yeah, who needs to do that? I can just live off fresh sushi this whole time. Can I eat you straight away? Yeah, I can. Well, I'm kind of full. Let's save you for later. This island's actually really cool. You know what I want to do? I wonder if it's even possible. I can't like climb this rock, I don't think. But if I can make like ladders and ramps, I know I can make ramps. I'd love to turn this into like a proper, a proper castle. Like build a keep on top of that big boulder there with like ramps down, like some walls around the outside. I don't think it's really necessary for this game, but like that's how I know that I'm really enjoying because it it's like, it's getting all my creative juices flowing. It's making me go like, holy shit. I want to build cool shit here and here and here and here and here. Like what Minecraft did to me way back in the day. This is awesome. I'm having an absolute time. I'll get some more materials. I'll um go and cook up that sushi. But did I, I did see something sus in the water, didn't I? What is that? There's a little piranha guarding it, as you kind of come to expect. Did I shoot it? Did I kill it? I did it, but there we go. Second time's a charm. Oh, it's just some coral. Some sponge. <laughs> bud. Bud, you right? You good? Where you going? Where you going? I'm gonna call you Jigglypuff the puffer fish because you're just all over the fucking shop. Mate, you're cooked. Oh, that's interesting. So the sponge, 25 water when consumed, 100 units on use, provides the cooling buffer. Okay. A useful herbal ingredient holds a small amount of water. So I can drink out of the sponge. I can wring it out into me gob and slurp it all down. Suck it like it's a gob stopper. That's pretty good for me. I've just got you cooking me up some fish. That'll be fine. Cooked fish, I'll take you because I don't have any other food right now. I ate all the rest of it. And it was like, saw the rest of this. I've got lots of things to go through. I just don't want to be weighed down when I go adventuring. So I've got my food, I've got my sponge full of water, and I've got a tank full of oxygen, plus a bunch of shiny blue things to give me more shit I need. So I want to go investigate that. Look at the waterfall. It kind of makes me want to like, so this is the thing. I could build where I am now. I could build a castle on the island, or I could give in to my innermost most distinct desires. Oh, you're just asking for it though. You can't tempt me like that. I'm a man of temptation. I don't have the spine or the willpower to give up on that. I've got, a, there is more spine in 11 year old kids or jellyfish. There's no way I can stand up to those kind of things when you beg me for it like that. But I'm gonna head around and investigate over here because I wanna build here. I wanna build next, oh, I can put on that island too. There's so many options. I just wanna build everything. Oh, you gotta stop. This is like a spa retreat at this point. Look how clear and luscious the water is. And there's little islands in the middle as well. Oh, you get like the full Luigi jump jumping out of the water. Oh, it's too nice. I don't know if this world, I doubt this world actually is like randomly generated. I assume this is like built to be like this because this is RNG. That is freaking ridiculous. I'm having a time. I feel like freaking Lois and Clark just out here exploring the world and having a time doing it. Oh, it's just, it's peachy. It's ab its absolutely bonza. This is a cracker. <laughs> you know what? If I was going to give this a proper, like, like, Australia definition, this world, this environment, it's a blinder, mate. I've made my way all the way up to the waterfalls, which look bloody lovely. A nice little lagoon up here. Is there, like, is there secret treasure? The pirate inside me is Arami Hardy to tell me to go and investigate behind the waterfall. There is no secret cave behind the waterfall. This is almost as much of a travesty as when there wasn't the purple jumpsuit for me to use. You can't have a waterfall that's pouring over in a perfect curtain-esque battle like that and not have the cave to El Dorado behind it. You gotta have some cave there. It's an insult to everything that exists to not have a cave behind a waterfall. That's like rule number one. Oh, you know what, I'll, um, I'll, I'll get over it one day, but not anytime soon. So I think, given everything that this game is clearly wanting me to do, I think it's only fair if I turn this little island here, not quite as big as the main island where I wanted to set up my castle, but this island here looks like a great spot for me to set down some stumps, set down some roots, and start building myself a new wood house. I've got the ability to make wood houses now, so may as well lean into it and get out of the thatch life that's about as flammable as a tinderbox. Get rid of all of you, all the gubs on the floor, and start from scratch. Got some copper as well, that's okay. Yeah, this is gonna be your home. 
What I mean, what a place to live. Got all these surroundings. Got a waterfall behind us and hopefully some protection from wolves. That's just smart cricket. I've only just noticed that my, uh, so I have a pretty decent PC. I have an i9-100 and I got a 2080 Ti and I've just noticed that OBS is starting to struggle a little bit. I've actually turned down the graphics a little bit as well to try and compensate. It's still a bit, how you going? Editing, Josh might need to do something about that to try and fix it as best he can. Um, or put, put a note to the start of it or something like that. Not sure what to do about that just yet. But probably something to keep in mind that apparently this, uh, this game is relatively resource intensive. Like, I haven't had trouble with really any other games out there, but this one apparently is just eating everything my PC has to offer. Also, if that means I've had to put this video out at like 30 frames or something, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do to fix it. But if that's the case, if there's, it was not quite like the normal standard, I'm very sorry about that. It's taken me like two and a bit hours to realize it. Mm, not, not my best move. I've successfully cleared my island of all of the trees. I've gone full Easter Island on this thing. I'll carve this big rock to look like a head in a second. But in the meantime, you can just kind of hang out there for a bit. Give yourself some extra lights. Now, I do have some points to spend as well. Well, we've got two skill points in here. Um, so let's go... Wait. Why don't I report these things? Wood floor? Wood wall? Did you get reverted for some reason? I'm not sure, but that's okay. Crafting. Right. So what do you need? I'll take the wood beams. Let's get like four of those. That seems appropriate. Give yourself a nice solid footing. Let's go. I suppose the same as before. So, well, oh, actually, no, we can make like the peaky things, can't we? Not yet. I need more points. Let's just go like four for now. Craft you. I'm going to need wood walls. Eight of those. Craft those away too. We've got plenty of wood to do it with. Yeah, this will be great. This will be fine. Look at that. It's all coming together. This island's not huge, but not so worry. That's, yeah, that'll be fine. It's like sticking to the dirt like that. Got a nice view out all of the ways, which means I kind of don't want to turn any of these into proper walls. And I have windows all over the place if I at all can. Let's go here. Let's go wall. No, at number five, please. There we go. Which side do I want my door to be? I suppose that one there should be the door, right? door like that and then all of these can just be windows it cost me an arm and a leg in shutters but that's okay i'd rather spend all of my limbs than cover up this scenery for any more than absolutely necessary so i've got like the main structure of my house built here but now i'm gonna want another skill level which isn't too far away only what four thousand experience points whatever that means i don't know well, i have talent points to spend actually what am i doing i need to invest in some talent it's a completely foreign concept to me to the point where i completely forgot it was a thing um what do i want base movement speed i might go increase wood increase stone uh i don't really get cucumbered that much anyway so i might avoid that for the moment increase the base health Swimming speed, uh, meat you was getting with a knife. That sounds like a good idea, actually. Base stamina. That's what I need. I need to be able to cut down and break down everything in my way without getting knackered two seconds in. So that's a good idea for me. Yes, there we go. Get this big rock out of the way. I need all the materials and all the experience. Got the level up, but only it took me to, uh, beat down. Sorry, it, oh, Jesus Christ, Josh. All it took me... Got so excited about to level up, I completely forgot how to form any sort of sound. Oh, real quick, I'm sorry to do this to you, bud, but I need, I need your skin and your bones. No, 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 no. Oh, that's a big fucking problem. That's a really big problem. Oh, what am I going to do? Stay away, fuzzy. Stay away, Pooh Bear. I don't know where the honey is. I'm sorry. Stab me in the ice. I'm going to cut off your fuzzy fucking ears. No, no, no. Leave me alone. He's bleeding me out. He's hanging me up to dry and see what good comes out. Oh, my God. I have no way. Can I get inside the house? Get inside the house, please. My water's low, but so is my will to live. Oh, where'd he go? Where'd he go? I've been an enemy of the... <gasps> Oh, I've been aiming the forest for so long. Who's fucking laughing now? Who's laughing now, Berry Boy? Yeah, get that in ya. Oh, fucking rub my, your tonsils with all of me nutsack. Get that into ya. Right, well, let's just pretend I didn't lose my complete mind right there. Slap on a bandit to stop myself oozing out all over this bear carcass. Need a bit of a drink as well. So, um, hey, there are bears in this game. There you go. That's one way to have it introduced to you, I suppose. Didn't enjoy that whatsoever. My torch has gone out somewhere, wherever it's gone. I can't see it anymore. It's dark as dicks out here. I might as make myself a new one and be done with it. 
The adrenaline is coursing all the way through me. I'll consume a couple of bits of fishy boys. To, maybe that's why the bear came for me. He smelt the fish and he wanted a snack. Look at ya. Look at ya. What's she gonna do, bud? Look at ya. Look how excited he is to look at that stick as well. It's like, ooh, stick? 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 Well, unlucky for you, the only stick you're gonna be getting comes in the form of a knife. So now that we've achieved dominance of all our surroundings, I can plop my torch down there. It'll stand up all nicely for me. I've got those points to spend, and I would like a pointy roof. I would like an angled wall to match up to that nice pointy roof like that. And I suppose, wait, didn't I have that staff, that door? Uh, I've only got one more point. So it's either window or door. I suppose I already have the ability to make the thatch door, so I'll buy the wood windows for now, and buy the door next time around, that'll be fine, now all I have to do, man, I'm still, I'm still pinging after that little endeavor, all I was saying was I wanted to kill the deer, for myself the bedroll, but I didn't have the fur or the leather, and then the bear just delivered itself unto me, I still need a couple more bits of stringy bits, but that's all right, we'll find some, uh, crafting, I need to make, where are you? Where the bloody hell are you? Like, it's a bloody tourism campaign. Four of you. I'll need four of you. I need some more wood. That's not too much to ask, though. I'll go find some in a jiffy. Oh, I'm excited. We're about to have it done, though. Let's get you. Wherever you've gone. Where? Wait, there you are. Okay, grab you. Stick you up on the roof. And we can finally have some shelter. Oh, it looks lovely, too. There and there. Flammable as shit, but gonna do the job. Yes, please. I need some more wood to finish my cabin, but now that I've fought the bear and I won, I fought the bear and the Josh won, I can now feel a little bit better about getting out here and messing up the rest of the environment because whatever, you know, I've got the biggest stick in the land. What's going to happen? Another bear's going to fight me? Actually, that would happen. Please let that happen to me. That would be awful and I will definitely die. Grab that. The rest of the tree fell in the river. That's all right. I can still harvest you up. Grab all of you. I only needed like... A little bit, didn't I? If I to have enough now, get you cracking along. Still need lots more for like my windows and shit though. Oh god damn it! Oh god damn it! There's another bear. There's another bear. He's stuck on a boulder. Can I slink away? Oh man, I was talking a big game. I was talking shit, and the bear heard me, and he's come for a rematch. <laughs> Look at him over there. Look, he knows. He knows I'm stuffed. Well, how about? I don't have a choice, but if you're stuck on a rock, then I'll quickly boop your snoot with a bunch of dicks of death. Yes! Get wrecked! Get wrecked! It's my fucking jungle now! I'm very acutely aware, by the way, that I am so cocky and so overconfident when things are going well. And as soon as those tables are flipped, when those turns are tabled, I am immediately a absolute coward. I'm aware of this. I'm, I, I accept this about myself and I carry on anyway. Oh man, I'm having fun though. Even though I'm scared shitless half the time, I'm having fun. Although I feel like the waterfalls are protected by a couple of bears and that might be a little counterproductive to my endeavors. Stick these things up in the corner like that. Um, wait, are you supposed to go a different way or does it does that matter? Because I want you to go like that to actually match up to the roof. Although it, I feel like, hang on. Have I done that? Oh, I've probably done that wrong, haven't I? Where's my torch? I've, I reckon if I had it just gone like a couple of you again, I had it held arm. Yeah, okay. Okay, I am a pelican. I am an idiot and I need to break those down again. Can I just like, can I just like demolish you? Or do I have to go like the hard way and break you down like that? That's a little bit, that's a little bit annoying. Should have known better, Josh. <laughs> oh man. One day I won't have a dumb oversight. Not today though. Tell you what though, I do like how, like just like with the boulders and stuff like that, breaking down building parts is like segmental. Is that a word? I don't think it is, but oh, cool shadows. Let's go like that. Get my shadow out of the way to try and save some processing power. I have no idea what the end result of this is going to be. I have to check. If it's too bad, I guess I'll just refill it. So I'll lose all the good parts. I'll lose the firewolf and I'll lose the bears and all those good things. I don't want to have to refill them. I might just see how bad it is, but I don't know, but I don't know. The process is struggling a little bit. That's okay, though. It's been a while since I had a game push my push my PC at all. I mean, I do play more games in seven days, and it's normally just fine. But yeah, I'm um, I'm really impressed with what this game actually has involved with it. Like, all like these extra little bits, little attention to details. I really like it. Okay, now that's done, though. I can go like this. I can get 
So, hang on, which one am I starting with? Uh, it was that one, I think, wasn't it? Angled left, so I need angled right. Angled right, that one there. Is that the right one? Facing out, that's the right one. Nice, okay. Look at that! Look at our little cabin, it's lovely! So, I'm gonna put my campfire down, just like in that corner there, I think, and I'm gonna cook up some bam. If that's not the biggest, dickest move that you could possibly do by eating a carnivore, then I don't know what is. It's just been top of the food chain. Hasn't come across a woodle in Australia with a knife. That bear has not played knifey spoony before. That is for damn sure. But I'll roast him up and enjoy his succulent meat a little bit later. And I'll put my bedroll just like there, I think. Nice. This looks like a nice place to be. Oh, look how cozy that looks, though. Can we just put... Look, look. I mean, I know I made it out of bear, so it kind of makes sense. But that looks like a snug fucking time. I'm not going to get full snug woodle. F, uh, hold F to set spawn points. F to enter the bed, have a sneaky nap, have a sneak, come on, this is the time to nap, we've murdered everything around, there's deers in the water, this is the time you get your kip on. All I really need now is just another couple of bits of wood just so that I can um, make myself a chest to store some things in. I do need to go back to my um, my original house and get like my corn and stuff like that and bring all that over here, but this will be my new favourite place. Oh, it's just been a good time. It's been a good time. It's a bit upsetting to me, though, because now I know that I'm, I'm coming to the end of this episode now. And you can only, as far as I'm aware, you can only play this game during these beta weekends. So I think I'm about to say goodbye to it for this weekend, which is very, very upsetting to me. I'm having such a good time. I don't want it to end. I might have to stream this game or something. We'll see how I go. But I'm just having a rip snort all the time. This is a great little piece of kit. I'll make myself that thatch door. or make myself... It's a roof ramp, but it's going to do the job for me anyway, just to, like... Give myself an access point just up here. You're now done, I think. I will turn you off. I'll take that. Ah, the wood can stay there, actually. The meat can come with me. I'm pretty stacked up on garbs. That should be fine. I want to go crafting and go box. Craft you. God, between the bears and the firewolves and all sorts of things, boy, I've, uh, I've lost all semblance of having any sort of appearance going for me. Five. We'll put you just like that again. Smack bang in the middle. Nice. And... I don't even know what to store in you. I'll figure that out in a second. Got bigger fish to fry. I'm like grabbing you and grabbing you. Seven. Door. Only a thatched door, but it will do the job. And on the outside, we'll get ourselves a nice... Oh, yeah. A nice little ramp. It's just made out of leaves, but that's A-OK -okay with me. Look at my little house, though. Look how lovely my house is. I'm just going to find myself an angle that is about, like, the best angle I can think of. Like that. Look at that, though. Oh, can I do better? Maybe like this one here. A bit across. You can see the mountains in the background a little bit better. Mm, yeah, about there. Just about there. How is that? How is this a survival game that I can play? How is this how I'm spending my time in this kind of world? I am loving this. I haven't enjoyed like my first dabble into a survival game like this in a very long time. I think the last one I was this excited about a game was like Outlaws of the Old West. And then that turned to shit, but I... I will be playing this for a very heckin' long time. It's gonna be a staple of the channel. I don't even care if it gets like five views. If you, if you do like it though, please let me know. But I'm gonna be enjoying this game for such a long time. I'm already excited for the next beta weekend. So again, massive thank you to Rocketworks for giving me a key to let me find my new true love of survival games. If you can't tell, I'm pretty fucking chipper about it. So massive thank you to them, and also massive thank you to you guys for watching, because I couldn't do this without it. But as the sun rises on my lovely, look at that though, on my lovely little cabin, I'm going to have to leave this episode and this beta weekend here, and come back and play some more Icarus in the next episode, because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the page of the Patreon who made this episode possible. If you liked it, make sure to hit the like button down below. Subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one. Honestly, I'm still just sat here watching. I just can't get over how good it looks.